Welcome back, travelers to the Slider Havoc, and we are back playing a little more Project Ozone 2 in Kappa Mode. And today is going to be partially productive and partially just kind of fun. I've been kind of playing around trying to find some fun stuff in the mod pack that is other than just, you know, following the quest book and stuff like that. And I think I found a fun con couple fun few things. Right, but I do want to have some productivity as well. But let me show y'all, my creative bug has started, right? I've kind of started, <laughs> and when I say kind, I mean, this is it. Oh, and I got an entry over there. I've kind of gone with like, I'm thinking kind of like a medieval village feel. That's kind of what I was feeling. Um, mostly because like with the smell tree and you know, all of that stuff, I just kind of had that feel. And, you know, Batania is very magical, foresty-like or whatever. And I think I can find a fun way to kind of fit in these blocks into, like, maybe their own room and stuff like that. And so maybe futuristically medieval? I don't know. But I've started building or whatever, and I want to create, like, a little village, as I told you. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about the feel of the theme or whatever. I, I actually am kind of digging on it. Maybe not exactly how it looks right now. This was only a couple minutes worth of building, and I just kind of was running with it and putting things in certain places and seeing how I felt about it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But anyways, we're going to dive in and knock out a couple quests today, and then we're going to do some playing around because this mod pack is filled with so many things and so many things I've just never seen before or worked with before that really excite me to kind of dig into it. And so I was kind of playing around, and I found some things that I want to check out, right? But before we do that, we have to get ourselves in the right direction to get to Galacticraft. Oh yeah, by the way, we got a couple more loot chests we got to claim that I forgot to claim last episode because I had made them in the meantime, but before I made, uh, maybe I, oh, I made them while working on the um, mechanism stuff, but I never actually claimed them or whatever. But we did claim, or we did make the metallurgic infusers. I didn't make, I, I made the one because we needed it as part of a recipe, but then I noticed that it was the next one. So I made the next two because there's no reason to make them all on camera. Oh, you know what? Let me bring that up. And so, yeah, so I've got the three metallurgic infusers and got those done now. And I also did prep for this episode because I knew we were probably going to need a lot of the machine frames and stuff. So I, oh wait, they're autofilling in here. So I made up, uh, what, 14? Yeah, 14 of these uh, machine frames and uh in preparation for this episode so we didn't have to spend much time in it and then actually if i remember correctly i made a whole bunch of those uh basic circuits these guys right here the basic control units and then also the tablets i made five of those up just in case we needed them i don't know what we're gonna need but i wanted to be uh you know heads up on the game so we got a quarter heart not that exciting some more red matter it's a unique so i think it might be cool and then a tape measure nothing too exciting this round but it's okay, we're gonna get a couple more today. And let me go ahead and put my chisel away. I've been chiseling away to do that stuff, so. But anyways, let's take a look again. So, the next thing we're gonna be doing is, I'm, I'm gonna kinda bypass these for right now and try to start heading down this path. So the next thing we need is the crusher, right? This is where we left off last time. And I was like, you know, we might be able to make it, we might be able to not, and I stopped because of the stuff we needed to do. But, I have everything for it now. So we need two tablets. We need a steel casing. We need some of his compressed iron gears and then some regular steel, right? And these are nothing but iron ingots with compressed iron. And I actually already made the two uh, getting ready for the episode. So we should have everything but that casing right there, right? I think that's what I'm missing. Uh, yeah, the steel casing. So if I remember correctly, that was four compressed iron. I'm trying to memorize these recipes because I know it'll be useful in the future. And you know what? Let's just... 32 will give me, what, eight? That'll do it, eight. And let's just make a whole bunch of these. So let me grab like half of these. Oops. What? There we go, we'll do that. Eight of those, 12 of those, and then we're gonna need uh, black plastic. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Outstanding. And then, uh, I did get a really good set of advice on different items to take a look at. Um, someone had mentioned, and I got the, I, I got the message after I'd already recorded the previous two episodes from this one. 
Um, so there's two episodes in between, but I, I just want to let you know, I did get your message. I did reply to you almost immediately, actually. And I did like some of them. It was the, uh, trans locator plate, I believe it was, um, this one. So you did mention that, which I actually mentioned in like an episode or two ago, but there's also, um, you were saying there's this item translocator where I can actually do like, you know, a specific amount of items, which I think is really cool because we can easily make this right. And what I'm talking about is inputting the items from here to here. And then I also kind of Jerry rigged this up a little bit different because I was having a problem. If I put like, you know, we'll say 12 ingots in, right? The first four will go on here. The next eight were popping up and just kind of stacking up here, not actually on the conveyor belt. So I added this little advanced item locator, anything that sat on top would then get sucked back in and then it would try to put it back up on here. So that's kind of how I re Jerry rigged my, uh, conveyor belt. Yeah. So I should probably put these items in while I was talking, but you know, I didn't. So while I'm, Oh, Hey, there we go. While this first one's going, I'm going to go look at making that, uh, translocator real quick. So I know it's going to be. Actually, you know, I might just be able to make it um, because I've already made all of these guys and I've already got one of those. I should have pissed an Ender Pearl Electro. Oh, I may not have Electrum. Oh, I do. Okay. So we're going to check these things out. I don't know too much about them. I know if you add like, you know, certain things like Glowstone or something like that to it, it'll uh, add them in at a certain like change the stack rate or something, something to that effect. And I just pulled everything out because of my item dislocator. Darn it. I always got to remember to turn this thing off when I come over this area to work and I keep forgetting. Um, actually, you know what? In this one, I can just throw them all in. I don't think I'll overload it. I think we've got a decent amount of pressure inside that I might be able to throw all those in there. Sorry, I'm really thirsty right now. So hopefully that'll work really well. And then what I could do is actually put another one of those up here um, in like with a chest or something like that. Or, you know, so okay, I heard it stopped and I was like, please don't bog down on me. That is the recipe, isn't it? Please tell me that's the recipe. What is the steel? I've already made a couple of these um, frame, right? No, not frame. Steel chassis? Yeah, that's it. Four compressed iron, a black plastic, and a machine frame. Yeah. Why aren't you working? What's your... your you should be working. Why aren't you working? With that many in there, does the pressure have to be higher or something? Or is it just... Maybe it's a visual glitch? Let me see. Nope. Okay, hold on. One, 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 two, three, four. There we go. Let's, ah! Dang, dislocator. Okay. Let's get them all in there like this and make sure it's working. If anything, we'll just make this first one, and we will, I'm going to figure out a good system for this. I will, will, will figure out a good system for this. And then also you said something about Draconic. So I want to look that up. There was a Draconic uh, dislocator as well. Um, at Draconic. And you said there was an item dislocator or something like that. Not these. I'm assuming you didn't mean these, obviously. Maybe you did. Maybe that you were talking about for taking it out. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I did mean to look into this one, but I was like, while we're waiting. Why are you not working? Your pressure is over four bar. Why are you not worried? Do I have something weird on me? Compressed iron ingot. Machine frame reinforced black plastic. Why is this not working? Steel casing. Let me do this real quick. So I can put... Ah. So I've got a new keyboard and I'm constantly looking. Um... And then at Draconic, there we go. So we just do that. It is black plastic, machine frame. You say you only need three. Oh, steel ingots. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Well, that actually brings me to something else I want to do today. So <laughs> let me put these compressed back and grab some steel real quick. And then we'll get that done. I feel so silly right now. Okay. Um, 
Now you should work great if I just put 32 of you in. Oh, ha. Huh. That was perfect. Okay. So let's turn you off because you're silly and you always stop things from working. All of you guys go in. And I'm looking at, I want to automate this guy over here. So we can stop having to sort out like the rich slag and stuff like that. And it's, oh, did I seriously just do that? Because my item dislocator was turned off. Oh, goodness. What? <laughs> silly, silly mistakes all the time. Blast brick. What was the recipe for those? Blast brick. Oh, my goodness. Okay, brick, nether brick, blaze powder. We should be able to make... Okay, there's 14 of them. Uh, which kind of brick am I missing? Uh, both of them. Okay. I can make nether... Can I craft these back down into bricks? No. Can I... Oh, wait. Stay here. Can I throw you into like a pulverizer and get brick back out of it? Ah, ha, ha. Perfect. Oh, you're so fast. All right, cool. So let's cook up some clay. Get some more brick. We'll get that. Um, how much clay? Oh, I've got 84. Cool. And then we'll do that. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just did that. So silly. Such silly mistakes sometimes. Okay. That'd be 16. That'd be more than enough. Okay, cool. So blast brick. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. So I need 27 total. There we go. All right, cool. Now the upgrades are easy because now I just take steel and is that still down here? Yeah, that's still right there. And I can take my hammer, which I don't have in here, but I'm pretty sure I've got two of them in here. I do. There we go. And it is time to upgrade these. So we need 27 of them. <sighs> I feel so silly right now. I can't believe I just did that and just let them all go away. All right, anyway, so steel. And now I've got the reinforced and give me my hammer back. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I'm going to need more cobble because this one actually doesn't fill the whole area. And so I want it to, to look a little more pretty than that. Um, let's just grab these. These will be fine. And let me grab my chisel. There we go. Just turn them to blue for right now. This is all going to change, but I, I want it to at least match for the time being. I mean... It doesn't really matter. It, it is going to move. I am going to get really working on my little village and start getting things set up to a more permanent location. So that that's the inevitable goal. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Let me get my wand out. It's just so much faster. All right. And boop and boop. All right, cool. But I believe, I believe I need a hopper for this one. If I remember correctly, like a hopper on top. Yes. And I should have at least one hopper made. Uh, hopper. Yeah. Oh, I've got nine of them. Okay, cool. All right. And well, I can put you back. You back, you back, and you back. Cool. And let's put the hopper up on top right here. And bingo, bango. Cool. So this is the upgraded one. And I love this one. And it, it's... Nice because I can just filter the rich slag into a trash can back here. <laughs> That's actually the reason I wanted it so I can mass produce some iron now. So I'm going to need, what am I going to need? I'm going to need a couple chests, like two. We'll use these skyroot ones. I think the, the color of them is quite okay with me. And let's grab some conduit. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to need, so we'll just grab that much. Then I'm going to want a... Do I have any more drawers? I do. Sweet. So we'll just do that for right now. And a trash can. And I do have extras. Cool. And so there we go. So this... Oh, you know what? But I want the heater. The preheater. Uh, is it one word or two? Is it hyphenated? Is it one word? Aha! Preheater. Yes. This, with a little bit of electricity, actually will um, speed the process up. So we need a sheet metal box. I'm pretty sure I have this external heater. I haven't made one of these, but this is all super simple stuff. So we've got all the materials to make this guy. So we're going to need you. Wait, you know what? I may actually have, oh, I may not have that. What's that ingot? 
Nope, that's copper. So can I make up any of these? Yes, I can. There's one of you. And I should have the rest of that. So there's you. Oh, but I'm going to need two of these. Two to be super special and have everything we need. There we go. And you again. There we are. And I don't think I made these pipes yet. So iron plates, I think I have some in there. I don't. I could go make these on the other one, but I'm not going to. We're just going to do this super simple. Um, so go away. So what am I going to need? Plates. Um, hammer. That's what I need. Oh, it's in my inventory. Cool. So let's just make up 64 plates so we don't have to have to make these up again. Awesome. Now the preheater. Like so. Oh, and that gives me eight. Okay, cool. So we're good there. And then give me two of these. Uh, have I not made these? Now I have. And I only need a four, so that's perfect. One, two. Got them. Perfect. Now, I am going to make a couple more nodes because we're going to pass over our power like that. So, uh, node. We're going to need to make one of these. So, I'm going to need four more of these. I have chest, right? Am I out of chest? No, I just remembered. I just looked at that. All right. So... Just a couple chests, just just so we have them. And node, you, four of you, got you. And I believe it's breath and gold, right? I think that's what it is. One, two, three, four. And I still have two of these, cool. That's what the recipe for the node is, right? It's gold, right? Right? Yes, okay, cool. So we'll be able to make this guy really quick like. And then what I can do is connect them just using some power conduit, but I just make another receiver and then I can send power over to that. Like I've got the one going over there, charging over there, and I can now charge these over here. I really like how cheap and easy these are. And I'm so glad I found it. Really? That's what I, I am so glad I found that thing. Um, receiver. There you are. And that is this one. Five enders, three quartz, and redstone. Ender. One, two, three, four, five. Redstone. And quartz. One, two, three. Perfect. So we'll go to the QED. We'll have the receiver. And then we will be good to go. I don't remember. If, no, it was on top. Like that. And then the ender pearls go in the other five slots. Perfect. And I think I put my anvil away, but that's easy. I can pull that back out real quick. Anvil. Not any anvil. There we go. So we'll grab this one. Like so. And I believe I've called the network home, if I remember correctly. And I've got levels this time. Yay! I'm not running out. Home and grab you. All right, so this should all work out pretty well. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I think I gotta shift click you on. Yes. And shift click you on. And where do you receive your power? You receive your power on top. That's cool, I can do that. So transfer node, it's gonna go right there. Yes. And then we're gonna put the receiver in and you should start receiving power. There you go. Oh, I forgot the conduit. Let me grab some energy conduit. Like so. Where are you at? There you go. And we'll just kind of wrap you around back here. Will you actually pass through here? Oh, you will. That not that part of the structure though? Oh no, this is up over it now. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, so these both are receiving power now. So there'd be preheating. Cool. So now, did I put the trash can back there yet? No. I don't know if it'll pump straight in the trash can or if I have to use a conduit. I'm going to try that for the moment. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, no big deal. I'm going to put you right here. So you pump right into that. And now I got my two chests. I've got my item conduit. I just need some iron, which I have tons over there. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. So item conduit, you're going to go right into here. Yep. And then our chests are going to go right on each side. There we go. There we are. You are set to insert. 
you guys are both extracting like so right now let's make sure this works get out of here what are you blue slime no liquid oxygen Ooh, i need you i'm gonna need you for when we do galacticraft i don't think i've gotten one of you yet and so thank you for standing right there while i was working Boop, thank you i'll put you back in just a second um so we're gonna grab up all these blocks I just want to make a ton of steel and never really have to think about it again. So we're going to put all you in there. Perfect. And then we're going to put some of that cold coke back in there. Do I have any more in here? I do. And hopefully, 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 hopefully this thing starts working. So you're cooking. Good. It's a little bit slower. I know. But once these preheaters get going, which they look like they're nice and red, it should, aha, it should expedite the process. So this is nine ingots at a time, a little bit faster. Hopefully the slide goes out in the back. So I'm happy with that. That is, that is something good right there. That is something good. All right, cool. So now back to our productivity, which was what we were waiting on these casings for over here. Did you guys, where are you? Did I, um, where did they go? Where did they go? There's nowhere for them to go. Where did they go? Did I ever pick them up and not realize it? Did they despawn? <gasps> that would suck if they despawned in there. Hold on. I don't remember picking them up. I, I, did I ever run over here? After I put... Oh, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm going to be so sad if I didn't accidentally pick them up and put them in here. Let me see. Um, steel. Where did they go? Where in the world did they go? Oh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, so six times four is 24. They had to have despawned. It's the only thing I can think of. They must have despawned. So sad. Did I put them somewhere else? You guys have been watching? Did I put them somewhere else? I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. I'm pretty sure I put them in here. And then, look, hey, I'll come back to those later. Remember, that's why my ingot was off. And that's why I lost those blast bricks. I don't know. Anyways, let's get these chassis going. Or, yeah, steel chassis, wherever they are. I'm definitely thinking maybe like the translocator plate to throw them in here. I don't know. Anything's got to be faster than the stinking door. The stinking door is so slow. Not that I do a lot of things fast, but I'd like to do it faster than this. <sighs> there they all are. Yeah, I'd like to know where the other eight are because those took a long time to make. <laughs> they had to despawn. That's the only thing I can think of. Ah, well. Okay, back to here. It's okay. We're moving on. Crusher... We're going to make our crusher now. Like I saw, I have everything now. Boop. There we go. Got the crusher. Let's go put this bad boy down. I'm not 100% sure what it does, but it probably crushes stuff. And it's probably really loud like its predecessors or whatever. Um, I There are some materials I need to crush, but at the moment, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just kind of doing it for the achievement. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We've got the achievement. Next is Rotten Power bio generator let us look this up bio generator right there got you um redstone enriched alloy iron ingots how do i make biofuel oh the cr <laughs> that's where our crusher comes into play okay cool so let me grab some apples i know i've got apples yes and apparently we can just throw you in here you should have yeah you have power Oh, this is going to be so loud in it. Yep. Okay, it's not the fastest machine in the world. I'm definitely going to have to look into speed upgrades for a lot of these. Because I have a feeling the reason it wants us to make them is because we're going to need them eventually. So, I mean, that just kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? So, bio generator. I got red. I got iron. I got those now. I think I have some enriched alloy. I may not have the enriched alloy. What do I need for that? Enriched alloy. That is redstone with, oh, those capacitors. Do I have any more of those? I happen to have 12. We'll make six. And some redstone. Oh, you know what? I already have redstone in this one. 
Okay, so waiting on those to cook up. Man, those machines are loud. I thought I put a mute on you, didn't I? Didn't I put, yeah, muffling. Amount one quarter. Oh, I can put up to four on there. Okay. Well, work, darn it. I don't want to hear you guys. You guys are so loud. Whatever. All right, cool. So, actually, I'm just waiting on those parts. Uh, not you. You have it. Aha. Let's get another one, and that'll be it. Hey. I, I just want to put one in there. Jeez. All right, I'm taking stuff out because that thing's just too loud. That one is way too loud. And some more enriched alloy. Chickens. Yeah, I literally sat here watching the chickens for like another two hours. It just kept going and going and going. Uh, when I restarted the server, however, the chicken wasn't there anymore. He had, he had gone off to bigger and better places. So, uh, bio generator. We've got the enriched alloy. I've already got those made. So we should be good. Bio generator complete. So I think it kind of goes without saying that this thing is probably a generator. Although that's backwards. Let's put you so you face the right way. Is this your energy outlet? Is that where I actually have to tap into you? Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, I can always, I don't know. Bio generator uh, out 7,000 RF per tick. That's not too shabby. I wonder if this is like what you do it with. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's got an internal buffer of 160,000. That's really cool. That's actually a lot. 160,000 RF. And then it puts out at 7,000 RF. And it's actually got a little... That's not too shabby right there. You can kind of see the green stuff. That's cool. I might get some use out of that one. I don't know. We'll see. Now, the wind generator. Turbines. Just makes sense. What is this wind generator's recipe? Is that you? Yes, mechanism generators. Osmium, got it, got it, got Oh, we can make that one. We can make that one super quick like. I already have everything for it. Hey. I have, I just made you. I have already had those. I, you should automatically be made. Ha ha. Let's see how much you do. Oh, oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and of course you make noise too, don't you? You put out 4,000 RF per tick, but that's total passive energy. Oh my gosh, a couple of those. I could get some serious power with very little effort. That's not too shabby at all. Ooh, that's, that's something I'm going to take a look at. Because I can make another one right now. I had all the materials for it. Didn't I? Yeah, there were some oh, tablets. Right? I could have made two. Maybe not. I, could, I thought I said I could make two. I'm short one tablet. That's okay. We still got the achievement. Um, is there a way to mute this? There's no way to mute that. Let's... No way to turn you off either. Um, I don't know. It's kind of spooky sounding. I kind of like it, actually. I ain't going to lie. I was like, I kind of want to turn it off, but it's kind of spooky sounding, and I kind of like the spookiness, so I'll let it run for a second, because we are going to have a little bit of fun now. Not Nothing crazy. It's probably stuff y'all have seen before, because y'all seem to know this way better than I do. But I was looking at some of the items that we've collected, right? And so I think there was a belt that we had gotten. I might be wrong. Ah, the speed belt. It's super cheap and easy to make, right? We're going to do this real quick. I'm going to need my potion stand. No, brewing stand. What am I thinking? I'm going to need my brewing stand. And we'll just put you right there. And I'm going to need make awkward potions. So let me grab some water. No, let me just grab some bottles. What are you doing, cow? You're jumping in my screen like you've got something to do. One, two, three. And where do I have water that I can get? I, can, I remember I can't take it from there. Um, I need to set up that reservoir. I think that reservoir would be really easy. Let's just run over to the last millennium. I know I can do that real quick. I actually haven't made any changes in the last millennium in the last couple episodes. I've been pretty much in the overworld the whole time working on stuff. This all is just running very efficiently and easy. And so I haven't needed to make any changes, but 
I quit. Okay, we're only making two potions for you. <laughs> we're making two. I only need one speed potion, so it's not a big deal. Oh my goodness. My, my goodness. Okay. So you guys go in there. Let me grab some nether wart. I wonder, you know, I've watched videos when people are complaining about how loud things are. And I don't really hear them. So I'd like to know how loud that is for you guys. Right, I'm just going to sit here quietly for like two seconds. I don't know how loud that is. It's it's pretty loud in my headphones, but it might be because I'm wearing headphones. I mean, who knows? Uh, I'm going to need some sugar, right? Do I not have it? Do I need to go make more sugar cane? Because I'm going to need two more for the recipe, too. Um, And which potion do I need, by the way? Um, belt. Uh, which potion do I need? I need speed two. Okay believe I should just click on it uh, glowstone and then sugar yeah so one sugar there and I gotta go make some sugar cane let me grab the sugar cane seeds it's only gonna take a second they're 10 10 10 okay so that literally took like a second but I just didn't want you guys to have to sit there and wait for me to get that done so alright let me grab the glowstone real quick and throw you in there to make that speed two potion and I'm gonna go ahead and pulverize up these because apparently it gives you two to one haha -ha, some more sugar sweet and you should be halfway done almost done and then we'll get this belt and that will be awesome because it is super simple to make and it gives you like it's it's got to be speed two. I I was testing it out in my creative world just kind of seeing you know fun stuff to play with and I was booking it with this thing. For as cheap and easy it is to make, got to make you. There you go. And, oh, I still got to make you. Um, go, I should have everything for that. Perfect. And let's make this guy. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you probably won't autofill because of that. Okay, there's that. The belt. And then what's that thing? It's called magic something, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. There we go. Check this thing out. It's an aether belt. No, it's not. It's not an aether. It's a bobble. It's not aether. It's bobble. And it goes right there. And check that out. It's. I mean, it's not insane. But as much running around as I do, and then flying, that is so much faster. That gives me a lot of the speed buffs back that I lost by uh, switching over to the. Oh, uh, what kind of armor is it that I'm wearing right now? The Zavikio armor. I lost a lot of speed. That That is fast, right? But there's something that is even faster, and that's what we're going to check out right now. This thing, I just think it's fun. I have gotten these so many times, and you've heard me make comments about it so many different times, and I've never used them, right? So I was like, you know what? I keep getting these items. I don't know what they are. Let's check them out. Check this stuff out. Viaduct. Now... In a short distance, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. But, 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 if we take our little wrenchy wrench and right click, it opens up. And then I just right click in here. I can fig and call this, we'll call this one. Okay. Doesn't really have to be anything special. It's just, oh, yeah. And I come over to this side and I click on it with my hammer. It gets kind of weird. There we go. And I call this one two and do that and then I want to go to one and I fly over to one go over to two I am going to get some use out of this I am going to get some serious use out of this now I think okay no I can do it like this okay it's when you're using long range ones that you can't so if I come over here and and I name this one three yeah it's I'm not doing complicated stuff here it's more you know proof of theory and, you know, you know, and oh, that once we get this all set up, I'll be able to name them to like each different location and just kind of pop up. I won't even have to run around anymore. It's those are so, so cool. I am so sad that I never really used them before. They are so cool. And now there are these long range ones, but it says until you're actually traveling 120 blocks or more, they're not really worthwhile. Yeah, I was doing my research on it. Because what happens is, like, I can set up these long-range ones, 
and they're like twice as fast, right? Which is really cool. And then I've got these long range, what they call the long range linking ones. And then I put another viaduct at the end to open up. Hey, open. Okay. And then I do a little right click and we'll call this one one because it doesn't really matter. It's not connected to the other system. And then I put a viaduct over here and I click on you and we'll call this one two. Oops. Two. And do this. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one's really weird. It needed a linking one in the middle. I don't really know why. You know, whatever. But the downside of this is, okay, it pauses you here. And it does a six-second pause. Now, if I were to do, like, this right here and put some of this long-range viaduct here, this is the part I can't figure out. I don't know why it does this, but I kind of played with it and figured it out. If I put you over here, hey, open there and put this one as three uh maybe it has to i don't know maybe it has to have an item now configure i'll give you my axe that's what your icon one of these should work configure and we'll just put a viaduct in you you guys should be working <laughs> this one i played with for a while i did get it to eventually work but yeah because i should have gone Config, no destinations. There's very much a destination right here. Right here. So I gotta keep working with these. I it, it worked at one point and then it didn't work at another point and I, for the life of me, couldn't figure it out. Um, I don't know why it didn't, but I was like, once I got it working, I was like, okay, maybe it was just kind of being weird and glitchy, but I don't know. It was working right before I recorded, it was working. Um, four. And we'll just use use the icon. You should be working. I don't know why you're not. Is it something with like, do I have to click with a variant? I don't know. Config, you're there. This one should be good. Regardless, within the base, this one right here will be absolutely awesome. Because I can just like, like I did the config on it. So say if this is like, you know, my thermal dynamics area, then I can click on this and it just, it'll show me the picture and I can put the name and all that kind of stuff. These I think are really, really cool. And I think I'm going to be able to get some good use out of them. I'm glad I took the time to play with them because they're just kind of awesome. Um, wait, do I need, I need to close you. Let me close you. Okay. We'll just do that. Yeah. This is some, I mean, some decent travel with, you know, very little expense. And I believe these can go up and down as well. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, I can put one of these like in the middle of like a tree house kind of setup. Well, like I'm going to go as high as I can right now. All right, cool. And then let's give a little clicky click and you're open. And now you're going to be two because apparently I changed names and two is the one I deleted. And egg is going to be your, your symbol. And so let's go to three. And zoom, zoom, zoom. That is so cool. And I can just go right back up to two. That is pretty good travel speed right there. That is pretty sick. I, I'm going to get some use out of these. These are really cool. I'm so sad. I didn't really know anything about them, uh, before now because they're pretty, pretty sweet. I like them. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And then also make fun of me if you already knew about them and thought, Oh, he probably knows about him. He just isn't using them. Even though I said I didn't know what they were every time I got them in a gift bag or, you know, um, a loot chest or whatever. So that was kind of fun. That was the fun stuff I really wanted to to check out. Like I said, I want to start using these mods in a way I've never used them before. Learning about things that I, you know, I knew nothing about or whatever. And I think that's what I'm doing and I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and claim up our things here. And we've got to be getting closer to um, Etta. You know what? It's got. It's, I'm almost certain it's this one. I think it's. It's got to be this one. We got to do it. I have to do it. We want to open that up. Or it's not Etta. It's Iota. I did look again. Um, solar panel. It's this guy right here. Super super simple. Um, I've got a tablet. We're good. Osmium dust. I can make two more enriched alloys. I can make that real quick. Um, capacitors. 
One, two. We're doing, we're so doing this. I want to open them up. I want to get going on Galacticraft. All right, um, how do I make the solar panels though? How do I make those? They can't be that expensive. So those are being made. Um, osmium dust, I might have already made it. Solar panel, go. oh, oh, I'm gonna need three more of those. Okay, more capacitors. One, two, three. I know I said I was gonna kind of just do the fun stuff and finish up, but man, we're so close. So, so close. Um, solar, you, you. Okay, I got two. I'll just leave you there in the screen while I go grab this other one. Oh, there we go. So I'll put you there. Oh, you know what? Where did you just go? Um, enriched. Are you still there? It's so hard to tell. Um, why aren't you filling? <sighs> Solar. Keep doing this. There we go. You. Sweet. Which one am I missing? Pains? Uh, I might be missing pains. Yes, I'm missing pains. Gloss. Glass. There we go. There we go. Make you up real quick. Pains in there. Put you in there. I'm pretty sure I got the osmium. I'm pretty sure I made quite a bit of it the other day. There we go. One more. Cool. Got you. Got the enriched alloy. Bingo. Solar generator. So much power for mechanism that I didn't know anything about. You guys are in the system, right? Oh, do I need to put you in the system? Some of these are weird. Some auto craft, some don't. Okay. So what is that thing called? Um, this one right here. Solar panel. Oh, there they are. There you go. And enriched. There you go. Oh, I had a couple extra. There we go. And what is that ingot right there? Um, osmium. I did. Oh no, that's the powdered osmium. I need to make. That's that was the my good old fashioned limiting factor that I like to mention. That's what that was. All right, cool. Get in the system. Now we can make you solar. Uh, this one right here. Make you up. Come on, let's go. Get in the system. Get in the system. Ha ha. Cha-ching. And we'll just go ahead and put you here because you should connect under. You should be producing now. How much do you make? 3,000 per tick. See, this right here is enough to power almost all my machines. And I believe you should be um, connected. Let's see if that connected. It did. It connected up. So, yeah. This is pretty nifty. Oh, we've got some power. Okay, cool. Now, let's see. I'm going to claim it first. Ooh, four of them. Okay, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Oh, wait, hold on. There was another thing I could claim. I don't, I don't want to look inside the screen. It's there! Yes! Yes! Big reactors. And Galacticraft! Oh. I'm so excited just to finish Alpha. How funny is that? But I'm so excited. This little guy has been nagging at me for so long. Guess what we're doing next episode? We are getting prepped and ready for... God, that was just a whole bunch of junk. We are getting prepped and ready for Galacticraft. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, chance cubes. What are we doing today? Are we doing some ISOs? I think we should do some ISOs. I can't find the right button. I so no, what are icosahedrons? There they are. Oh my goodness, I got 140 of them. All right, we're gonna do like 10 of these at the same time to finish up the episode. Where are we gonna do them today? We are gonna do them in the nether roof? No, let's go do them in the aether. I haven't done really much in the aether. We're gonna go do them in the aether. And my almost perfect 30 minute episode just turned into a 45 minute episode. I'll get there eventually. I will get there eventually. Okay. So, ooh, what is this? Cold air cloud. I don't remember this one. Let's do two of these at the same time. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Um, 
Oh, that stupid ghast. And then that. Jeez. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Mr. Ghast? Where'd you go? Come on, shoot at me. Shoot at me, you stupid freaking monster. Stupid mob. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's all those clouds. I picked them up. Uh, all right, next. And next. Give me something cool, please. Oh, now there's two of them. And they're shooting fireballs at me. Oh, and that's the creeper one in it. Come on, give me my vision back. They're all probably down there now. A whole bunch of creepers down here? Oh, they would. Oh, there they all are. Wow, they're supercharged creepers, regular creepers. There's just a whole bunch of them. Man, can I get something cool for once, please? All right, here we go. And you? I swear. They're, I mean, you told me that they're nerfed for negative things, but I didn't think it'd be like everyone. Another blow up one. Oh, and then more creepers. It's getting out of hand. It's it's not only all negative. It's the same negative ones, like back to back. Ah, uh, okay. Something's good going to come out of one of you guys, right? We're going to get something good out of one of you. Just throw that away. One of you guys is going to be good. Bookshelves. Is that another creeper? Or a ghast? Ooh! Hey, that was close. Well, I got eight bookshelves. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Last two. I mean, bookshelves aren't bad. They're, they're not great by any means, but at least they're not bad. At least they didn't, like, try to hurt me and do damage to me. All right, next. Oh. If that's another freaking creeper. Or gas. Why do I keep saying creepers? Gas. Um, one's good, one's bad. I had good luck last time. Let's have good luck this time. Hey. Good luck. Oh my goodness. Is this the real one or is this the fake one? Because even if it's the real one, I don't consider this bad. I consider this good. Nether stars. And, he's and it was the fake one. <sighs> Nothing good. Nothing good. And there's like fire everywhere. This is stupid freaking ghasts. All right. Well, back to the overworld. And finishing up the episode. Where did I put my portal? I remember I put it up on like hills. There it is. I really should move my portal marker from where the old portal was to up here, but whatever. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if there's more crazy stuff you guys know about that's in the pack and stuff I should kind of check out and you think I might enjoy, like actually checking out those viaducts or whatever, let me know. I, I am all about finding some new stuff and really trying to enjoy all the parts of this pack. And I know there's going to be stuff that I don't know about that I might eventually come across. And then there's going to be stuff that I come across. Ooh, 10 blocks of steel already. Sweet. 90 steel. That was actually really fast for 90 steel. So, yeah. So, if there's more stuff, please let me know. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, I always appreciate a like. Oh, it gives me block run up. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize that. So, yeah, if there's stuff you think I'll enjoy, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. If you are brand new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. I am putting up episodes daily, and I'm having a lot of fun. And the more people that are involved, I really do enjoy, you know, in engaging with you guys. Now, as I said in the last couple episodes, I want to know if you guys want to do a Discord channel so we can kind of get together and be able to communicate with each other. Not just me with you guys, but, you know, you guys being able to communicate with each other as well and come up with awesome ideas, maybe for a future series, maybe just talking about the weather, maybe talking about the Olympics. I don't know, anything. So let me know if you guys would want me to set up a Discord channel and that way we can all kind of communicate together. But you all know the deal, guys. Until next time, I am Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.